What's going on guys and welcome back to Recoil TV training tune-ups. I'm Joe Farewell with Farewell Firearms Training and I'm excited to show you today how we quad load a shotgun. Now I'm a professional three gun shooter. I was also prior law enforcement and SWAT. So I got a little bit of playing time on both sides of the field, but this is what I love to do now. I love to shoot the comp competitive side. I love to push competition and push the speed and also teach people like you how to get better at it. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have a good shotgun for it. Now the shotgun is really important because having a good loading port is crucial. Now you can do this with a stock loading port kind of, but you're not going to be able to do it very effectively until you get the port cut out and properly polished. Now this is done up by Dissident Arms out of Texas. They're competitive shooters themselves. They do a phenomenal job working on shotguns. So first part of this, get a good shotgun. Second part is understand how we manipulate the shells to get them in the gun. There's two different ways to do this. First one is called weak hand loading. So we're gonna flip the shotgun over and we're gonna load with our weak hand, whatever, whether that's your, your left hand if you're a right-handed shooter or your right hand if you're a left-handed shooter. So with our right our left hand, our support hand, I'm gonna grab these first four shells on a caddy. All right, now lots of different options for shotgun shell caddies out there. I have a lot of recommendations for all sorts of three gun gear. You can find that on my website, farewellfirearms.com. Right on the front page, there's a three gun gear guide that you can download. Gives you tons of info on, on where to get everything and how to make it work for you. So as far as this shotgun shell caddy, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna index my thumb on the first two shells that are going in, which are gonna be these two. As I pull that off, it looks like this. I'm not gonna have a whole lot of contact with the shells. I'm gonna get that lined up in the port and I wanna put a little bit of effort in to make sure I sling those shells in with enough momentum to carry them past the shell latch just like so, all right? First two go in, I still have the second two, I come back, I sing the second two in, they all four go in the gun. So look at that at full speed, we're gonna grab all four, just like so. Goes in pretty quickly, pretty smoothly, but again, it takes a lot of reps, a lot of time to put in that effort to make sure that you're getting that locked in every single time. Now let me show you another method. All right, so the second way we can load the shotgun is what's called strong hand. That's where we're using our, our primary or dominant hand to load it instead of flipping it over and using our support hand. How we do that is we're gonna take the shotgun, we're gonna throw it up under our shoulder. Now I put a little bit of pressure with my index or my pinky finger, my ring finger on my support hand, and I use that to put a little pressure on my neck so this thing doesn't slide off my shoulder or bounce around too much. Basically it looks like this, we throw it up here, and I'm grabbing my four shells again with my strong hand this time, getting my thumb index in the same place as we did last time on top of those first two shells that are going in, pulling those off, lining everything up. And then again, we wanna make sure that we have a good momentum to push those in so that we're not popping back out on the way out. Once we get those shells loaded in, we wanna go ahead and just push that shotgun out and pull it right back up into our shoulder, which allows us to shoot sooner. So let's go ahead and shoot this thing live and see what it looks like when we're actually taking shots. shotgun can be a little bit daunting for you guys but it's a whole lot of fun especially once you start to get comfortable with it give it a shot let me know if you have any questions and be sure to drop me a line on social media or comments here let me know what you want to see on the next training tune-ups here on recoil tv